this video is going to be a vulnerable chat a sleeping rest like there's no i'm not chasing anything my instagram is like a whole world on its own like one thing about waiting for answers to your prayers is that during that period you might be seeing things working out well for other people you cannot help but wonder what exactly is making your take so long like sometimes you're just like i i prayed for this exact same thing god why have you not given it to me what, what, what exactly is going on hey loves welcome to the channel welcome welcome to a brand new year and i am saying this not because this is the first time i'm posting but this is the first time i'll be posting this type of video like sit down where i just sit down and talk to you guys so happy new year guys how have you all been it's like middle of january already how is your new year going so far this video is so out of a whim kind of video this video is very very unplanned i just figured out that i have a whole lot of things to say to you guys and with the vlogs like nobody ever wants to watch a vlog where you're just sitting down and chatting and yapping and just you know boring you guys we want to see you go about we want to see you do things so i am on able to share my thoughts sometimes pop my mind and i know that some people may not even mind it like people just want me to show up <laughs> i know some of you hear that steph just post we're going to watch but some people do not like that another thing about this type of videos is that they do not do so well with the algorithm i know what my viewers like and this video is probably not going to get a whole lot of views but i don't even care at this point i just want to talk to you guys i just want to share and pop my mind and let's just chat and interact so yeah that's why i'm doing this video but this video might consist of me yapping a lot like forgive me if there's a whole lot of i may just lose my train of thoughts i don't know how this video is going to go if it doesn't go well like i'm hoping the editing will help with this video that is the only way i'm going to post it if it doesn't work <laughs> i'm going to scrap all of this so if you are seeing you just know that yeah i was able to edit it and make it make sense so just like i said earlier i don't know why i keep clapping but just like i said earlier this video is going to be a vulnerable chat a very honest chat we actually touch on different topics on several situations in different aspects of my life so if you're interested in that type of stuff you get you just want to gossip with me and hear what's been up yeah definitely do stick around if you're new here my name is stephanie i am a lifestyle and self-development content creator living in abuja nigeria i am also a nine to five girly yes i work in the corporate world more like nine to eight but not every time let's just say nine to five because that's what people are familiar with so yeah like i said we're going to reflect on life youtube finances my job creating content and you know just plans for the future before we start i want to guess down in the comment section what's been happening in your life like i'm very very curious to know so make sure to leave it down in the comment section like what how is how is your new year going because i cannot be the only one feeling the way i am feeling one major change that happened in my life was because of a comment somebody had dropped on a particular video i posted like late last year this particular comment changed my whole perspective on things because i think i posted a vlog about how i was struggling with nine to five and being a content creator and i was beating myself up that everything was just difficult like i am failing in this aspect i wish i could do this and the fact that i am not able to do something i am beating myself up for that like that comment came at the perfect time so when i tell you guys to drop comments you have no idea how it is going to affect me like that particular comment made me see things a whole lot differently like it helped me in so many ways you guys cannot even imagine so this is my way of saying that your comments are actually very very important to me shout out to you guys who leave me comments even if it's just as simple as an emoji like you have no idea some people just leave love like whatever guys just <laughs> let's talk in the comment section but back to what i was saying it's a new year and i feel like whenever we start off a new year we always start off in this high positive energy like there's a whole lot of motivation goals and plans and things that we want to achieve but i would not be surprised if some of you started the new year the way i started the new year because when people go through things you're not the only one going through that thing. you're not the only one experiencing that thing like yeah it might be slightly different but we as humans like we are so many billions of people on earth you cannot just say it's only you that's that's experienced something you guys get so with the way i entered into 2024 yeah i entered 2024 feeling so tired <laughs> i was feeling so disconnected i was feeling so drained like legit it was like i was blank upstairs 
like a, a fog was covering everything and i'm not even joking like, this is the first time in a long time that i entered into a new year i didn't enter the new year with any energy i didn't enter with any aspirations at first i was actually thinking i was burnt out and maybe i needed to rest i feel i felt like maybe just you know the whole stress of the whole year but then one thing about burning out is that you begin to hate the things that you're doing and that was not it for me i still wanted to create like even on youtube here i still wanted to pick up my camera i still want to talk to you guys i still felt like vlogging but i was very exhausted both physically and mentally i didn't start off the new year with a clear picture of what i wanted till this very moment guys i have not designed or created my vision board i talked about it in my last vlog so that is because i have no idea what i want like you know how you want oh this year i'm going to buy a new car oh this year i'm going to move out of this apartment guys i don't know like it sounds very very strange yeah but this is actually a real thing i think earlier this week two things dropped in my head that i feel like okay maybe i can <laughs> i can achieve this this year okay it's just two and maybe i am finally yeah i think i'm actually getting back to me now if there's one thing i learned last year it is the fact that sometimes you need to cut yourself some slack sometimes you need to give yourself grace sometimes you just need to chill and rest and you know just take something slow i say this because i know what it is like <laughs> i know what it is like to just want to keep going and the fact that i was entering into the new year not knowing what i wanted for myself not having any goals not having any plans like it was also stressing me out and freaking me out because who does that like i have no experience or i've never had that type of experience in a very very long time so i was like what is happening and of course when you're questioning yourself or your your mind your body is not in that place to give you answers it just stresses you like you know how you begin to worry and then it turns into stress and then it becomes a thing yeah that was like everything was just building up because i how like how do you figure out this thing i don't even understand and as someone who on this channel like sometimes i teach self-development you know teach the girlies how to level up how to start how to do this how to do that it was actually a big deal because i don't even know how to do that for myself so how am i going to teach people how am i going to talk to people coming into the new year and it was so crazy coming onto youtube like because of what i watch you know how the algorithm serves you things that it thinks you like i watch all this reset with me productivity videos you know all those motivational motivational things and also vlogs so coming into the new year that first second to first like that first week of the new year i was just coming online to see my reset how i prepare for the new year create the new create my vision board like that was that was hard seeing all of that and then i also felt this pressure of oh yeah i should actually be creating something like this you know of course people are looking up to you people are expecting things from you you should able to teach people you should be able to motivate people on how to make 2024 their best years and yeah i know that you guys love the vlogs but sometimes some people just some people actually enjoy my self the, like sometimes it doesn't do so well with the algorithm but i know that those things i share they have an impact in some people's life because you guys leave me comments so i also felt that pressure of you should actually create something like this people want to hear like it's a new year why don't you talk to your girlies and it's like i don't even feel okay mentally i don't even know like i am not even ready to start the new year how am i going to talk to these people how am i going to teach these people like how on earth am i supposed to motivate others when i do not feel any single motivation myself so at some point i just gave up yeah i just told myself that okay this year january we are not going to be doing any of that i am not going to be putting out any content about leveling up or starting the new year right creating my vision board i am not going to do any of that i'm just going to step back and i accepted the fact that that type of video is not going to come on my channel at least for now my instagram is like a whole world of its own or on its own like i am so free and i communicate on my instagram like i just play on that app instagram is one way to express myself freely or one place i express myself freely on my stories actually not on my timeline like if you go to my timeline it's very very curated it's giving growing influencer but you see my stories like i love the freedom i have on my stories like my stories are kind of like my diaries i put things up there my thoughts things that make me laugh things like i just voice out and i'm very very free on that i wish sometimes you guys could see 
what I do on Instagram or YouTube, but <laughs> I don't know how to merge it too. And I, I, of course, this is me. This is me showing up here. But like a very, very fun side of Stephanie is what you see on my Instagram stories. So I, I actually did put it up, I think a few days into the new year that I've accepted the fact that I am coming into the new year. Like for now, in short, my new year starts in february and i wasn't joking like a lot of people thought i was joking people responded to me and they were laughing they were like steph i don't know people don't take me serious on that app but i was very very serious I, I jokingly said it but i was very very serious i said i have accepted the fact that my new year starts in february and i have accepted the fact that i don't have like for now this january is just for me to just chill no pressure no plans no goals, no vision, no aspiration. Like I'm just waking up, going out, coming back, eating, sleeping, rest. Like there's no, I'm not chasing anything. I am not chasing anything. I am just taking it one day at a time, step by step. Like whatever comes next, there's no plan. Or maybe even if I'm going to plan, I'll just plan out my day, that particular day. That's the only thing. But you see, no, I don't. I like, and it did help me a lot. Like a lot of pressure that I put on myself or that I was feeling that was making me anxious and overwhelmed. Like those things just disappeared. I'm not even joking. Like for real, for real. Once I accepted that and I made peace with that part that, yeah, maybe I should just take a step back and chill. It really did help me. And it's been helping me like this past couple of days. Like, all that anxious feeling, all the anxiety I was feeling, all that overwhelming thoughts, everything, it's like they are just dissipating. You guys remember when I said it was like a fog was up there, everything was clouded. Like I can feel everything just melting away. Everything is becoming clear. So if you came into the new year feeling like me, know that you are not alone okay and this is what this is what worked for me i just told myself that i wasn't going to pressure myself i wasn't going to stress anymore yes and that is how i have been living life like if you come up to me now and tell me steph what do you want to achieve in the next that many months or six months or Omar, I don't know. Like, I am very, very serious. I don't have any goals. I don't have... See, I am saying this jokingly. I know that some people may be irritated and be like, what is wrong with you? But, man, sometimes... This life, this life is one. And you just have to accept some things at... Yeah, at some point. It's not like life is over for me or i have given up i am not giving up but i just know that i am tired and i need to rest and i need to take some time to figure out some things and yeah that's what i'm doing it's not like i wouldn't make a vision board later i am like i said my new year for me starts in february i'm not even joking so yeah you guys that have already started your own new, new year you have already done your vision board you have already made plans and you know you have goals and you have this and you have that you guys make sure you achieve all of those things because we that we have just 11 months <laughs> we that we have 11 months you had a head start so make sure you achieve those things but i'm just joking like seriously what i'm preaching here is do not put pressure on yourself if you end up not achieving everything you wanted to achieve or that you said you were going to achieve in a year the first time i actually did write out the things i wanted to achieve that was like few years ago but the first time i actually did write out the things i wanted to achieve in a year i kind of forgot about it and three years later i stumbled on that journal guys it will shock you to know that yeah on that journal i did achieve everything when i checked i was like wow see how time has gone but i did not achieve those things in that year that i wrote it i did not achieve some of it yeah i did achieve some but not all of it in that particular year but three years later everything i had written down had come to pass like i am not even joking so yeah that is why i am here saying that sometimes you need to give yourself time sometimes you just need to not put so much pressure because like time takes care of a whole lot of things so let's talk about my job um alhamdulillah god has been good my job has been going great good i am trying to balance both content creation and working a nine to five and yeah i'm getting a grasp 
of it it's not perfect but it's good and something that i want to share with you guys i don't think i've no i've actually shared this i wanted to say i don't think i've shared this with anyone but i've actually shared it with a few people most people would think that getting a job would mean an overall bigger income financial stability to an extent right but guys it would i don't know if this is i don't i really don't know i have just come to discover that this is not my reality yeah and this is me being very very honest with you guys and i honestly cannot explain what exactly it is but maybe because of the nigerian economy and how it is right now and maybe my own standard of living but then i actually did have more money to be careful with when i wasn't working in nine to five yes it's like it's <laughs> i have sat down to analyze all of this but it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense to me like i don't understand what is happening because i okay maybe i do understand what is happening but guys having a nine to five has not boosted my financial status <laughs> i don't know why i keep laughing about this but okay okay let me be serious see i am not complaining because i actually went into my job not because of the money not because of the pay yeah the pay could be better it's not like i'm earning crazy out of this world but you would think that with that extra income i would have more money to spend but no i do not and just like i said money was not one of the no it was one of the motivations but like money was not the major motivation for taking that job because if it was guys see i would have quit that job a whole long like a long time ago because you know sometimes you don't be in a place that doesn't serve you that drains you you get sometimes you have to live situations that do not serve you but with my job yeah uh, money was not the major motivation there are a whole lot of things and experiences that i have gathered skills things that i knew i could get taking up the job and that is one of the reasons i am staying in the job currently and i have just found out that this is one of my well i say good traits because i find that i get to do things that i genuinely actually like um, I have a passion for because if money was a motivation too, see, I would have quit YouTube a long time ago. This year, I took some time to look at my analytics because I was thinking of making this video for you guys. I was thinking of doing a how much I made in a year on YouTube. And guys, I, I did not expect what I saw. It was so little. <laughs> It, i'm even thinking i i have actually been thinking should i make this video or should i just crap it because let me know what you think but i think i now see why a whole lot of people do not do like smaller channels do not do how much i made in here because the money is literally nothing and i just feel like looking at that money if i make a video about it i'm probably going to discourage a whole lot of people so i'm just like do i make this video do i not make this video I want to make the video so that I can tell you guys the reality of being a content creator because some people look at you and think that your money is coming left. Even big YouTubers will tell you that most of their income comes from partnerships and collaborations and you know maybe selling a course, their affiliate marketing and all of that. Like there are a whole lot of ways to make money besides your YouTube AdSense. But guys, that YouTube AdSense check is not always silver and rose. It is not always it is not in most cases it is not even going to be something unless you have like crazy crazy mad views and of course once you do that of course you can get very good collaborations and all of that like i was saying money is not a major motivation when i do things i have learned that about myself or this year made me realize that trait i have and i actually like it i think it's a good thing because just imagine if money is the only thing that is pushing you to do things that's not a good way to live right i don't think it is i am someone who likes to explore like sometimes a whole lot of times my curiosity gets the best part of me i want to explore i want to try out new things i want to have a different experience just for the fun of it that is one reason i you know picked up my job because after how many i think a year i just gave myself to be you know do youtube and do other things on the side but i was always at home most of the things i had to do was from home i was just like when this opportunity came 
I was just like, yeah, maybe I should actually do this and see what's out there. What is life outside being a content creator? And let me even see if I can manage these two things because, you know, you just want the challenge. I actually do like the drive. I like the work ethic I have now developed because with being a content creator, you get to set your own schedule. You get to manage your own time you get to be in control of a whole lot of things and it is so easy for you to lose control it is so easy for you to lose yourself your drive it is so easy for you to get lazy or even get bored with that thing that you love to do because it is repetitive it is like a continuous cycle so me doing something else besides that i have come to appreciate being a content creator and also the experience I'm getting from having a nine to five, like it's just making me see two worlds differently and, you know, trying to merge and balance all of that has been a very, very new experience and a wonderful journey because guys, I don't even know what era this is, but it's quite exciting. Yeah, it's, it's actually exciting. There are so many skills and experiences I'm getting from exploring other avenues of myself because I know that there is a whole lot to offer. It's not just like I can branch into different things and I will do well in those aspects because yeah, I have, I have things to offer. Steph is not just a content creator. Steph is not just a nine to five girly. Steph is not just a, no. There are several parts of me that have several things to offer to the world and to you guys to my friends to my family you know you guys get what i mean so just like i said i entered into the new year like the past few days i have just been feeling stuck i have just been feeling drained i have been very very tired and very uninspired and even having creative anxiety because wow there are a whole lot of creative ideas that have come to me that I have pushed away because I am just like, no, I don't, I really don't even understand what is happening at this point. Just like I said, there's this video I wanted to make about how much I made in 2023. I have talked myself out of that video 1 million times. A whole lot of times I have told myself to just sit down and start working on this video because that particular video, another thing again that is making me no one to do that video is the amount of work because you know you're going to be talking about numbers and analytics and then the editing is going to be quite complicated i'm just like do i really want to do this but when the idea first came i i was excited for it i wanted to do it but now that it's time to work on it i have just been talking myself out of it plus you know it's not my content it's not my style of content what if people don't want to watch it you know all of those doubts and complaints and things you just bring a lot of excuses to why you shouldn't do something yeah i've been dealing with a whole lot of that and also comparison yeah this is something that i know that i really need to work on and i struggle with it sometimes i have a grip of it but sometimes i do not and i know like every time i start to do it i tell myself you should not be doing this like everybody's journey is different but i have been worrying with myself about being consistent like consistency versus quality and if there's one thing i have always like i have always told myself i am not just going to show up and be consistent and post things just for the sake of it like i am always I am always and I'm only going to put things out there that I value, that I think is good content, that I am very, very certain of, like I have put in my best and yeah, sometimes my best might not be 100%, but I know that this is something I would actually want out there. So I'm not going to force myself just to film and create content and put, put things up just because I want to be consistent, just because I want to show up twice a week just for the sake of consistency. and. You guys don't get me wrong like i really really love content creation i love you know the whole process i love filming i love editing i love talking to you guys i love you know bringing all of these things together and putting out something so beautiful it's a very very lovely like i'm so passionate about the craft but sometimes i feel like i think too hard about the whole process like 
there's just a whole lot that goes on behind the scene with content creation that makes me worry so much like i think i overthink the content sometimes i think of how i want to appear to you guys and you know the algorithm because oh yeah you have to do what works and what doesn't work you have to avoid it like there's a whole lot and yeah like i was saying comparison doesn't help in any way but i feel like i am in what do i call this i feel like i am in my wilderness season where i'm waiting for god to like get back to me on things i have asked for like my prayers of course and one thing about waiting for answers to your prayers is that during that period you might be seeing things working out well for other people and of course it's not like i am not happy for them like very very happy when i see things going well for others but you cannot help but wonder what exactly is making yours take so long like sometimes you're just like i i prayed for this exact same thing god why have you not given it to me what, what, what exactly is going on nothing is happening on my own end meanwhile it's happening for every other person but then you have to also remind yourself that god has a reason for things and it has a plan it has a purpose like in short every human on earth i feel like everybody has a purpose for why they are here and i have a purpose god has a plan for me one thing about god is his timing is perfect and maybe i should stop worrying <laughs> about why my prayers have not been answered like i know all of these things but it's sometimes a very hard pill to swallow sometimes you just have to be very very intentional about talking to yourself and learning some things that you heard because it's so easy to say things to people it is so easy to know things but practicing it practicing it is it's a different ball game it requires a whole level another level of discipline and you know subconsciousness but i know that i am not the only one who feels this way i'm not the only one who thinks these things and i just want to say here also talking to myself that sometimes we have all of these thoughts sometimes we worry sometimes we wonder see god has a plan and i know that sometimes it feels like we are behind while everybody is way ahead of us and everybody's living in our prayers but see guys god doesn't make mistakes god did not forget us and like god knows everything about you god knows everything about me so while it looks like others are reaching their full potential and getting to where they want to be and it looks like they are way ahead of us just know that during that period while nothing is working for you god is actually molding you god is preparing you god is shaping you for your own testimony for your own answered prayer so you just learn to be patient and enjoy the process just go through the they say go through the fire go through the dark times go through the wilderness because what is ahead of that what would what you'd get out of that is way better and you are definitely going to be happy you did wait <laughs> when like all the good things start happening so yeah guys i feel like i have spoken a whole lot even though it's like a couple of minutes but yeah that that did help the whole talk did help like there are a whole lot of things that i want to try out on this channel this year i i really don't know how it's going to go but like i have so many ideas and i cannot wait to try them like you know share it with you guys i cannot wait to show you guys but yeah basically like for now this is all that i feel like i want to share with you guys so if this resonates with you or or if this is something you could actually relate to you let me know in the comment section join me also if you've not subscribed to this channel please subscribe and do like the video it does help my channel it also be algorithm and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next one it's going to be a vlog coming up next week or maybe before i think i'm going to start posting twice maybe twice once i'm not going to overdo it but yeah that's it for today's video i'll see you guys in my next one Mwah. Oh, 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 o